Hello everyone, this is Jaktar Shirgal, an insurance broker in Ontario. So, a lot of people call me regarding uh, exam for Rebo, registered insurance broker exam, because I put a lot of videos and now people wondering how they can uh, uh, pass the exam. So, my advice is that uh, go to Insurance Brokers Association Ontario uh, website and uh, sign up there for classes take two weeks classes or weekend classes or you can study from home and uh, once you go through if you still have doubt uh, they also have one program uh, for exam preparation is for one day uh, uh, preparation so you have to pay a little bit fee for that some small fee and then uh, they prepare you for the exam if you are still have some exam anxiety uh, so number two, I suggest you that uh, do not cram the material. Try to understand what it means and how it applies. Because a lot of questions will be based on the application, how you uh, will apply in real life or how it will affect an insurance and, or your, if your questions regarding ethical, how you uh, relate to your ethics how to sell insurance so if you watch my video till the end and you will get a couple of questions answered which mostly definitely comes in the exam so you will have at least two points uh, uh, cleared in the exam so uh, so so then the questions you see in the exam mostly there's a 100 questions and there's about 10 questions on case study uh, where you have a case case and you have to study it and answer the questions from that uh, material and also there's uh, five questions from uh, uh, accident and sickness and travel insurance and rest is uh, one portion is on auto insurance one portion is on uh, home owners or, or condominiums tenant policies and some commercial questions and some general insurance questions and other regulation questions also coming up in the exam so, so make sure go through all these uh, check sections in the book because questions will be from all these sections so not everything you have to memorize some material is just for your reference only but some material definitely you have to Pay attention that those coming in the exam so when you get the exam make sure I think a lot of people who are going to study for this exam must have gone through their college or university degrees you know how to do multiple choice questions so there's four four choices mostly two are wrong and uh, one is right one is almost right or looks right where you have more confusion so when you don't know any answer don't just blindly click one so hope that that might be right but at least try to use the process of elimination so eliminate definitely which two are wrong and then guess the one from other two so that's how I pass exam sometime when I don't know it I try to eliminate definitely which are not right and then do my best guess so that's the thing so make sure do not cram uh, cram the material and uh, understand it and uh, logic so yes my tips for you so like there's a question on the uh, exam mostly maybe i don't know you'll get it all but definitely this comes more often it's like difference between lesser and lessee and mortgager and mortgagee you see the mortgagee and lessee rhymes together but there are two different entities so lessee is the person like who gets a, a loan like a owner of the car like if you buy the car you are the lessee and uh, mortgagee is uh, the financial institution who give the mortgage uh, to you for your home insurance or uh, sorry, sorry for your home property and uh, so that's the mortgagee so another thing is that lesser 
lesser is the one who gives you the car on lease like when you lease a car as uh, lesser is the bank or the uh, car company who give the loan like GM or BMW Mercedes or CIBC TD all these banks they are the uh, lessers mostly banks give uh, finance it they are the lien holders but uh, car companies they lease the vehicles like bmw chevrolet and toyota honda like that so so you have to make sure answer those questions right who's the lesser and who's the leasee and who's the mortgager and uh, who's the mortgagee so mortgager that yeah mortgager is you like a leasee is you who are owning the car or renting the car or and uh, more gauger is the one the owner of the home who get the mortgage so these kind of questions will uh, come in the exam and uh, and definitely about bodily injury property damage and many other uh, things or ethical questions what is you need to know about the law when you're dealing with the customers and how uh, like you cannot uh, pay somebody commission to get give them insurance so rebating is not allowed so you cannot share commission with the clients so this kind of questions are regarding ethics or business related so yeah so try to understand go through the book slowly and realize how it will affect and how it applies in real life and uh, do all the study uh, uh, tests in the back of the book i think every chapter has their some uh, uh, practice exams so make sure you go through all the practice exams and uh, if you are uh, getting 80 percent or 90 percent in the exam that means you are ready for the exam but you should be doing 100 percent but at least 80 90 and uh, that will be very good you need to have 75 percent marks to pass the exam for sure so statistics shows that people fail the exam uh, about 50 percent chance that you might fail the exam in the first first time but you should be on the top 50 percent who passed the exam if you're watching my video that's uh, my motto so that you don't have to go for a second exam and there's a, only three tries in uh, in a year so first you fail it you go and go for second time then you go for third time but after three times if you fail you have to wait for one year to give the exam from the date of the third exam so these are my tips but i know that you will still have more questions so i try to answer these questions for everybody because i do get it in real life on my cell phone my cell phone is always available 416-831-0215 so please subscribe to my channel for more videos and also share this video with other people if more people subscribe to my channel my channel grows and i get more encouraged to bring more videos valuable stuff to the community because uh, i don't make any profit out of it just just uh, uh, advice so that more people can get ad advantage of this uh, career and be successful in their life uh, doing the insurance business it's a noble business i'm enjoying it and uh, i hope once you start your business you will enjoy as well and make some money and serve people so serving is number one when you serve people you will be be benefited definitely so you don't have to worry about making money just start serving and start doing the right thing thank you very much for watching i'll bring the next video next time so please subscribe and share the video and uh, thank you for your time bye bye